off-screen figurine collecting.com. So, basically, um, I did a lot of save state abuse. Um, I'm in a place right now where I know for sure this is going to get one. Uh, what I've been doing is basically uh, putting in 50, seeing if it works, and then if it doesn't, going higher, if it does, going lower, and basically just finding the exact number I need to get one, because it is set in stone as soon as you talk to the guy, I guess. So I'm actually pretty low here. I've got 57. We're going to see if this uh, is enough to get another one. And let's go ahead and give this a shot. Yes, it is. Okay, so that means we can do save scumming. So this will be probably the last time I have to do this on screen. Uh, well, the only time I'll do it on screen, but the last time I have to do it for right now at least. Because I'm trying to be as cheap as possible with these. I don't give a single shit that this is cheating, because it totally is, but whatever. Um, once I'm done with this, I'm going to go buy some uh, more seashells and then not, not actually do anything with them at the moment. Getting them purely so that I don't have a full wallet, because uh, I hate having a full wallet. I think that kind of goes without saying. So I apparently only have 18 left. Let's see if this is good enough. It is not. Okay, whatever. So how many do I have? 17. Let's actually see if the RNG changes. I'm curious. No. Hold on. I like how it was the same one as before. Whatever. So here's how many I have. Um, it doesn't seem to have a total listed, so whatever. I'll just scroll down through the whole thing and... I seem to have quite a few. Um, I'm not sure what the maximum I could have at this point is, because I'm still assuming that uh, you can't actually get a figurine for something if you haven't encountered it yet. But anyway, that's enough of that place. I spent entirely too much time there. The main reason I was actually there in the first place is because, uh, once again, there's people doing yard work outside, and it's very loud and obnoxious, and so I needed a reason to put that off. So yeah. So let's head to the shop here. Waste some money on seashells. How much do these cost? 200. Okay. Well, that'll uh, bring me down from max, so that's good enough for me. That's really the only thing I was concerned about. And um, I guess the next thing I'm doing is finding the way to the mayor's house, because people said you can go through the woods and you'll eventually reach it. Now, I have to remember how I actually get to the woods. It looks like through the ranch. Okay, so let's actually warp somewhere else. I guess just here. There's no real quick way to get there, is there? Also, is it Tingle who tells you how many fusions you have left? Because I think it was. I'm kind of curious. I'm imagining like 50, possibly more. Oh wait, they get more? Huh. Alright, let's do that then. See, this I was not really expecting. Now I'm just going to be running into more side content when I was thinking I was finally going to make progress. But, oh well. There's another enemy that will give me money if I kill it, so I don't really care. Do you have any other stuff? I'm guessing probably not. Let me just reload him just in case. This means I'm going to have to find his brothers again. Because I'm guessing they probably do also. Yeah, yeah, whatever. <sighs> I'll keep them in mind for later. I'm not going to bother with them right now because that's a little bit too much legwork for me. Alright, so... I still never remember how to get around in this part of the map. It's kind of... everything's intertwined in sort of a weird way. It's not anything up there, right? Uh, no, it is. Is that actually where I need to go? No. Okay. But yeah, as with last time, there's still probably a lot of side crap I could be doing. I don't know where all of it is, though, so we're not going to worry about that at the moment. 
We'll just worry about the uh, freaking weed machines. Uh, like yesterday, the pro the problem was the like weed in the air conditioning. Now it's the weed killers outside. Or I guess not weed killers, but I don't know what you call those things because they're not lawnmowers. They're those like weed whackers. That's what it is. Weed. All right, so I guess nothing here. Let's go ahead and burrow through the wall because that is apparently what I'm supposed to be doing here. Also, I am seeing another one of those. I don't know if I've already checked that. These are probably linked together, though. And um, as we learned from last time, we only really have to check the north wall because that's the only place where stuff is hidden. Well, there's holes in the dirt where you can find chests, but as far as like other stuff that isn't marked, it's always the top wall. Oh, I already checked that one down there anyway. Okay, good. So, we got another kinstone, possibly money, possibly something I already got. Okay, I guess that worked. Wow. That, uh, oh, I got it back. <laughs> Sudden, uh, quick change of emotions there. First, I was going to complain that, uh, I was speeding up and lost it, and I'd have to go buy a new one, but then I got it back, so all right. So what do these do again? I forget. I don't remember if there's like a definite... Oh, it makes Gorons appear. Okay. I like the idea of these Gorons just kind of appearing from the heavens and then punching this wall. Well, sooner or later they will break through, I guess. There's probably another dig spot somewhere that I haven't run into that will uncover the fourth one. But, uh, without looking that up, I don't know where it is, so whatever. Alright, so we got a heart piece. Tiny hole. And here is where the book is, hopefully. Oh, it's up there. I was about to say, if this is a note saying that somebody took it, I'm going to be very displeased, but no, it's just on top of the fireplace. Didn't we already have to do that once? I feel like we don't really need the solution, but alright. No? Really? but it told me the solution, and it didn't work. Uh... Do I ram into the back of the house? Is that what I'm getting here? No. I guess there's this. Oh boy, Gus Jar. This is my favorite mechanic because it doesn't take a long time at all. I mean, I guess it really doesn't. Yeah, never mind. This is actually a really simple, basic one. Last time I had to do this, there were a bunch of things in the way, and that was annoying, but... Oh well. Must complain about every tiny thing. Alright, so what does this achieve? Thinking I probably wasn't supposed to do that. I don't know what pushing it the other way would have accomplished, but there might have been a hole back there. So, uh, let's leave and... Frickin' phone, hold on. And thus, there was no answer when I went to pick up the phone. Excellent. The reason I was upset about it is because I actually started recording, like a couple minutes before this one, and there was another phone call that interrupted it, and I started over, so... I don't know. The first one was a wrong number. This one was just nobody that existed, I guess. If it rings again, I swear to God. I don't know what, but I will be upset. Okay, so I guess that did work. And can we shove this off? So basically the hint saying to ram yourself headfirst into it... Oh, never mind. I was about to say it was completely useless, but it wasn't, because it was 
showing how to get the tree. Except I think... Have the trees really not been required yet? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Just when I thought it was safe to go back in the woods. The woods, not the water. Because that's the tagline for Jaws, right? I don't know, for some reason I was thinking woods. That'll just be the tagline for Night Claws starring, uh, Red Brown. Except he's, like, 60. And also not starring Frank Stallone. Alright, well, I done got the book. I guess, uh, that has been achieved. And... I don't think I can go in this hole over here without having to go through the water. Let me double check. Yeah, okay. So I guess we'll return that, and then we'll see where that takes us. If that does not bring me the flippers, then I will be very surprised, because that's basically what everything's pointing towards. Also, um, I seem to get a lot of mixed answers on... Uh, which two uh, pendants to go for, and I'm still kind of indecisive myself, but I'm just going to go ahead and go for one of them here, because why the hell not? So, once again, we've got uh, attack up, defense up, and then a bit of both. Um, I'm going to go for the one that's a bit of both, because I think that's probably... It's not the extreme in either direction, but I like things that are balanced, so we're going to go for this one, and then later on in the game I'll decide which other one I want. I'm not even sure when I can uh, when I can get those, so whatever. Not going to follow me? Alright. Because this is specifically only for one person, right? So there must be another house somewhere. Oh. You're already here. Okay. I do indeed have a bottle. Okay. Power and guard. Is that what they're calling it nowadays? And I guess that's it for this house. So let's go ahead and try this thing out, because I want to see what it's like. And I want to see if I have to pay to get more of it later. Well, I, I turned purple, and I don't know how long this is going to last. There's not really an easy way for me to tell how much of a difference it's making either without... Well, yeah, let me just go ahead and find an enemy. No, this is not an enemy. Hmm, I don't know. I think we should be enemies. And one other quote from that, because it's a stupid thing and it's worth quoting twice. Your father, the Black Panther, is your father? All right, so anyway, without this, we take, come at me, we take a whole quarter of a heart of damage. Okay, let's not do this one. Let me find a moblin. I think there's some down here, right? Get rid of these goddamn crows first. Yeah. Yeah, crows. Okay, here we go. Yeah, you can just bugger off, I guess. All right, so saving. Oh, whatever. Saving. When you ram into me, I take how much damage? Come on. Hey. Hey. Do you not give a shit? It looked like a full heart. Okay. So we take one full heart from that. Bumping. Yeah, not very much. Yep, that is definitely a full heart. And you take... How many hits to kill? One, two, three. Okay. So I'm going to guess half heart, and it will still take two hits to kill. Let's see. Come on, really? Yep, half heart, and... Okay. Yeah, I'm assuming that's like a times 1.5 for both, so... That's kind of cool, I guess. I will keep that for some time when I may need it, which may be never, but we'll hold on to it regardless. Anyway, um, going back to the library here. This is not the library, that is an exit. 
Well, now that I've done all of your work... Uh, do you keep a list? Like, who did I boot out of that list? I don't know. Yay. Oh my. I was about to say, I'm guessing that this game is just going to kind of fade to black and then they'll be gone, but no. They actually did animate it. Okay, so now we can finally get on with this. find the shrinky spot, which was not very hard to find, I just didn't remember where it was. And what do we do? Oh, okay, I was about to say, like, if, is that, if this is, like, put in the wrong spot, I'm not sure what the hell I'm supposed to do. But, nope, we're good. Hope nobody checks out the book with the door in it. That would, uh, that would be a bit of a problem. That is a gigantic feather, and I approve. Don't know if I remember who that is. Well, I, I don't remember who it is. I don't know if I've encountered that person, rather. I kind of already am, but okay. Turns out I can never come back and uh, do the kinstone fusion with them. Just no way to ever get back in. Probably should have done that first. I didn't think about it. Actually, let me check when I saved. Quite a while back. Okay, whatever. This is fine. There was just a character named Library, really? Boy. So now we get to play push every block until we find the one that moves, which didn't take very long, but I'm going to push the rest anyway because I'm stubborn like that. So I'm not, I'm not expecting this to be more than a couple of rooms, but I guess we'll see in a second here. I have not had to do this in a while. <laughs> Looks excellent when sped up. There's four bottles in it, yeah. Because I'm about to say, like, I don't need to catch another fairy by any means. I kind of hate having this thing when I'm never going to use it. But, like, there's nothing else I need to put in bottles, so whatever. And we have, uh... I was about to say crab people, but no, these are just giant ants. Or giant medium-sized ants, or whatever the hell it was from Futurama. Also, um, you may remember that uh, at some point in the past, I mentioned uh, that Vinny from Vine Sauce uh, will occasionally go at a medium pace, and I didn't know what it was. Um, I actually looked it up, and it is from a very, very sexual song by Adam Sandler. It's, uh, it's quite bad, but still worth looking up if you like looking at stupid shit. Alright, so anyway. Flippers, finally. That took quite a while. Mm, yes, um, yes, oh. Remarkable. I've never heard of this swimming. Mmm. So, that's immediately a problem. Because there's probably never going to be any indication of when stuff is underwater. Um... Yeah, I, I don't really like that, because I remember in uh, Link's Awakening, I think there were a couple heart pieces that were just randomly underwater in unmarked spots. But uh, I'm not going to worry about it too much. If I miss something, then oh well. I'll find it later when I eventually look up a guide. And I cannot get rid of ice, so I guess we'll be back. Anything over this way? I think this is just where I came from. Yeah, pretty much. How about up here? Uh, come on, waterfalls always have something. Oh well. Alright, how about the other direction? 
this leads to... Oh. Alright. Does this get me anything of use? Okay, so that's just a shortcut then. That's kind of cool. Um, I think I've already been able to explore this section of the town. But let me make sure. Yeah, because that's the library. I've obviously been up there. And... Okay. That should be it. So, uh... Let's actually go back this way so that I can talk to the dude again. I already talked to this person, right? I think so, yeah. So that opens up a pretty significant portion of the map. Um, I'm going to have to go around and explore that probably next time. thing and this is going to let me predict it's going to open up a viney tree in some small rectangular place of the map that I don't care about and I'll eventually go there and I'll get like a blue kinstone let's see if I'm at least right with the first part of that that uh, looks like no actually that's gold enemy yep okay I don't really give a shit about gold enemies, but I will eventually take care of them because I am a completionist, so alright. So let's get out of this place. And um, obviously the next place I'm supposed to go is the water temple place, droplet temple or whatever they were calling it. Um, let me just check out the immediate area because there's at the very least a hard pace that I should be able to get here. And there's heart pieces all over the damn place that have been blocked by water. I know there was one in the woods. I don't remember where any of the other ones were. But let's go talk to uh, David Jr. or whoever the hell this guy is. Because he probably wants another... yeah. And Golden Enemy? No. That is a place I don't really plan on returning to, but sure. Why did you think it wouldn't work? Can I warp directly there? I think I can, actually. Yeah, that's like right here, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Sure, let's see what that is. After I get stuck on every pebble. I wasn't supposed to come back and talk to this guy after, like, my last objective, was I? The blacksmith dude? I don't remember. Yeah, seashells. I guess I didn't need them, so that's fine. Can I warp? Didn't think so. Alright, where's blacksmith dude? In here? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if I have to talk to him a second time. Maybe after I get all four of the elements. I seem to remember something along those lines. But I don't know, because I do not pay attention to my objectives in this game nearly as much as I should. And since there's an enemy here, it's going to be a waste of money, because it's going to drop 200 rupees. But you know what? I'm right here. Why not? Money's not really that valuable of a resource in this game anyway, because if I ever do run low on it, which I'm thinking is kind of unlikely at this point, I can always just uh, abuse the hell out of that gambling minigame. Also, notice my uh, complete lack of strategy with using the boomerang here. The boomerang, which many people told me can be, like, steered if you do it right. I'm just trying to get rid of this asshole first, though. There we go. Yep, money I can't hold. So let's practice using this thing. It's all like, oh my god, you can steer and stuff. Except, kind of, maybe, a little bit. What was I doing? I don't remember. Go to, go to the woods, get the hard pace. Because there was one here, right? Oh, and now I can go through these puddles and stuff. So yeah, that's going to open up a ton of stuff. See, that's the thing. I'd want to start going after this now, before doing the dungeon, but... Eh. 
It hasn't been that long since the last dungeon. I can probably get away with doing some side questy crap. So yeah, why the hell not? I'm right here. Let me go ahead and check this out. So I can go not through that gap. Okay. And this way we have a hill I probably can't get up. No, I can. Mm-hmm. How about this metal one? It better not be money. Okay, fine. Is there anything hidden underwater? Not going to check every single pixel, so I don't know, but we're going to assume probably not. Yeah, you guys get the hell out of here. There's another heart piece, and probably money. Nope. I'm always glad when it's not money. It's kind of sad, like... I don't know if it's because... Well, I mean... Let's be honest, the only reason I have a full wallet at the moment is because I abused the hell out of the gambling minigame and got like 600 off of it. Um, if I hadn't done that, then I wouldn't be full, but I've gotten full quite a bit, and I don't think it's necessarily due to me save-stating all the time, like some of it is, but I don't know, Zelda games just have a tendency to give you way too much money, and... I'm not sure if they should just make money harder to get, or if they should make it usable for more things, because you can buy a lot of stuff with it in this game, it's just I don't really have a need for most of it. And money? No. Alright, let's get the hell out of here if we can. I like the introduction of these random ice platforms that have no purpose other than to be obnoxious. It's like, it wouldn't be difficult if I took things slow like a normal person, but I have to be constantly in a rush because I am obnoxious. Alright, nothing in here still, alright? This guy, yeah, what is this remote control bomb stuff? That was mentioned, like really early in the game, and it's never come back. Oh, actually, I do need to be small, never mind. Go through here. Skip through this entire place, because I don't give a shit. Except I saw water. Where was the water? Where was the damn water? I have found the water. But no, isn't there more in this direction that I need to swim across? Now that I think about it, there is. What does this lead to? Some kind of purple mushroom house. I swear, if this turns out to be the remote control bombs. Nope, it was nothing in the slightest. Okay. I guess I'll have to remember that guy is there because at some point, 10 videos from now, he'll want to do Kenstone Fusion. You think I'm joking, but no, that, that's most likely what's probably going to happen. Okay, so now let's get out of this place. Still going to leave that chest there. It'll, it'll be there for the rest of the game. Don't worry. It'll be the last thing I pick up. Um, yeah, we're, we're moving on. And there is nothing in this pool. Except a demon, Ah, uh, Can we dive while small? I guess so. Because I would like to think there's something hidden in this pool. But I probably have to be big to get it. So, where do I... Yeah, here we go. And what do we have? Anything? Anything at all? No? Is it just here to explain where the water's coming from? I guess that is fine, but... Alright. Yeah, if you say so, game. Now, where was that one heart case? Because I swear there was one in the woods that I had to swim to. I can picture where it is, and I think it's in the upper left. Unless I somehow already got it. 
And I know this is not the right place, but I found this place first, and I'm gonna check it. That's a thing I'll need to check. So we get to have more tiny adventures. Tiny adventures, yay. Okay, let's first go over here, though. And yeah, that's the one I already checked. Here we go. Nope, I already got that heart paste. Never mind. I was thinking of something else. There is still that one at Lake Hylia, though. I can get that and get a new container. And definitely do that before the end of the video, unless I forget again, which is increasingly likely the more time that passes. Yeah, can, can we get stuck on bushes a little bit more? first. Hopefully nothing else gets in my way. It definitely did. Okay, so how do we do this? Because there is definitely a way to do this. Um, across this bridge, perhaps. Is there a spot here where I can shrink down? There's gotta be one somewhere. I'm checking all these trees, make sure none of them sparkle. I don't think the pine trees can, though. It's usually the other ones. There wouldn't be one in the dig spot, right? I don't think that would make much sense. No, I didn't think so. I like how much of a non-threat the like likes are. It's pretty good. I'm perfectly fine with that, because I don't care for them in most other games, so making them a non-issue is fine by me. And I am not really seeing how to check out that one area. Perhaps I'm just dumb, but I really don't see it. Maybe that's just a... Okay, that's probably a doorway that leads into the woods from from the lake, so let's go back to the lake. I don't know if I can get there any other direction than this. Come on, really? Must get my money back. Can't not have full. Okay. There's the heart piece. Let's grab that. And we'll check out this lake more, uh, like, thoroughly in a minute, but yeah, I want to see where this goes. Can you go in the completely deep water while well, small? You can, okay. So what does this do? It leads to this, and then this goes around, and I'm gonna guess there's gonna be a guy at the end who won't do anything? No, there's a treasure chest. if we're lucky, another heart piece. Because there's pretty much only two thing, three things it'll ever be. A heart piece, which it usually isn't. A kinstone, which is like, okay, whatever. Or some money. Or I guess seashells. At this point, I'll take anything but money. I like the non-threatening slugs also. They're, they're pretty good. Money? No. Okay. I'd say I don't remember the last time I opened a chest and got anything other than money, but there was the one with 200 seashells from earlier, so... I don't even remember where that one was. I got it like five minutes ago and I've already forgotten. I think that's this game's problem, is uh, it doesn't really have memorable areas. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I mean, I'm not expecting to remember what every single cave gets me. I do in, like, Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time, but that's because I've played those games a million times. Okay, so let's check out this lake. It sure is a lake. It's pretty much what I'd expect, a bunch of blue, and not really much else, because it's a fucking lake. Okay, that... that's annoying. Can we really, really not reach that? Okay. 
So, we've got the flippers, and they're not good enough. This looks like this is a thing. No? I would have totally hidden something there if that was me. So, how about that leg? How about that unobtainable heart case? I don't know why I always use this. I know it's not going to work, but I try it anyway. Boomerang? Come on, that should totally work. Nope. Well, unless this game has Rock's Feather, which I didn't think it would, but looking at this, I can't see any other way to get across, then yeah, I'm stumped. So, I am now going to abruptly start believing that Rock's Feather is in this game. I guess we'll find out eventually. Anyway, there was another tiny spot over there. I should probably check that out. Just making sure there's nothing else here that I haven't seen yet. Oh! We can hide something there, but not in the suspicious rock formation. Alright. I'm glad I checked, though. There wasn't really anything indicating that there would be a secret there, other than the fact that it was a small, pointless little pond, but... That is definitely not the small, pointless little pond... Only small, pointless pond in the game, so yeah. When I, I do when I do my sweep of this entire game, which will be soon, then uh, I will have to check like literally every single spot like that. Because I have had to use guides occasionally for little stuff, but I'd like to see how much I can get without them. Anyway, what's the deal with this? Um. Okay, new idea. Rock's Feather is not in this game, but something that freezes water is. Because that's, uh... Either this lake drains, or a kinstone creates a lily pad here, or you can freeze the water. No. I don't want to go in there yet. Okay, whatever. I've been putting it off enough. Let's... Nope, nope, more distractions. This is not where I've come from, so let's see what this is. After I get stabbed. Check all the trees. Ooh, shortcut. Yep, there we go. Okay, cool. Shortcuts are good. And I think it's just that one tree, so... Once again, going to predict. I go in there, there's going to be some dude who says something of little consequence and does not want to do fusion. Am I correct? Oh, no, it's another swordsman. Okay. This is fine. Wave blade. Does that mean I get sword beams? Because that would be cool. It's like the opposite of sword beams. Okay. Are you gonna drain my health here? I'd prefer you to not drain my health, actually, but... Well, that was kind of cool, then. And once again, I have to say, um, I've been getting a lot of comments pointing out that there's something special about the Swordsmen, that I have to, like, find all of them and then do something. I don't remember what it is. I still can't do anything with that one guy that is in the dark room, so I'll worry about it later. But let's go check out the, uh, the little minish hole over here. see if it's anything worthwhile, which it probably won't be. Ooh, maybe this will be the guy that says nothing of consequence. Oh man, he actually does want to trade. I'm disappointed in this game actually giving me stuff to do. What the hell was that voice? I see. 
I kind of want to hear that voice again. So this one doesn't open something up somewhere in the world. He just gives me information. Or maybe both. Oh. Where the hell is this? Mm-hmm. I think I probably know how to get there. But let's see. You already told me. Okay, whatever. So, let's go in here at least 70 times. Because that is how we do. That is just how we do. You think it'd be like it is, but it do. Okay. Is this going to lead to the beanstalk? Because if it doesn't, I am not sure how you would get up there. Also, I really don't like these not being able to get back on shore moments. I feel like it shouldn't be that hard to pull yourself out, but then again, we are talking about somebody who can't swim without flippers, and I have actually used flippers in real life, and they're kind of cool. They do give you a lot more oomph when you're swimming, but, uh, but yeah. I've been in this... yeah, I, whatever. So I don't think I'll actually be able to do anything in this cave until I light it up but I'll keep looking just in case. Oh, gotta kill all the slugs. That is a requirement at this point. And Jackass Fly, okay. Maybe we shouldn't kill all the slugs because then Jackass Fly shows up. Well, I got all the way around. I've been guessing money every single time, so hopefully I will not be, uh... Oh, this will not break that trend. Money. Okay, good. But yep, still don't know how to reach that beanstalk. I guess we'll eventually have to bumble into it, but I don't know when, because it seemed like it was just off the map. Let me see. Because I am here. And was there a way to go through the house? Now you probably come down from whatever this is. Oh well, I will try to remember that it's there. Still don't know how to get that thing. Don't know how to get up there. Obviously the game wants me to do the dungeon, but I'm not going to start that 45 minutes into the video, which now that I see how long this video has been, and the fact that I've not accomplished anything worthwhile in it probably means I should stop pretty soon. I'm trying to think if there's anything I want to immediately check out. Um, I kind of do. Nothing that comes to mind specifically, but basically anything on this river in the map that I can access, I'd like to see. have been in this one, right? Yeah. This I have also been in. That I have not. Is there a shrinky dink spot somewhere on this map? There's still that warp tile. Which I don't think I've ever shown it again on screen, but every single time I go around exploring I check that warp tile to make sure it doesn't open up anything new, and it never does. As far as I can tell, I just have to go to that section of the map naturally, and then I'll be able to, like, access something. I don't know. Anyway, let's go in here, check this again, because I don't know what it did the first time. Probably nothing. Potions I probably won't use. Red Potion is, like, the most basic one, usually. It's just, like, you refill some health. Alright. I may eventually check that out. I probably won't, though. And, yeah, we do want to go 
this one. So what does this get us access to? Another heart. Man, I'm getting these all over the place. Can I actually fill another container before the video's up? Because that would be awesome. I like the music when it's all sped up and skipping over large parts. Parts. Okay. This has been a really stupid segment, and I realize this. I've had basically nothing to talk about the entire time. Um, nothing really comes to mind as, like, an interesting side story, so it really is just me exploring, seeing what I can access, and making uninteresting comments about it, but that's kind of what you get in the blind run sometimes. Can't be helped. Also, I am not going to check out the swamp because I imagine there's probably a lot of stuff there, so that'll be, like, the last place I go to. I won't be doing it today. Okay, river. Where will the river be? Here it is. Alright, what do you lead to? Are you gonna be the final wall that I have to do a kinstone on to get a Goron to appear? Are you gonna be money? I've gotta say it every time now, because every time I say it, I'm wrong, and I want to be wrong. So, so we're, we're gonna keep doing this until it eventually stops working. No, okay. That is unfortunate. What do you lead to? Mm-hmm. This was not the most useful of caves, but it has at least been explored now. I uh, can't go that way. I've already checked that one, I think. Probably. Let's double check. Uh, yeah, I did. What did that... Hold on, what did that ladder lead to? Well, I need to do this again. No? Really? The other two did. This guy doesn't. Well, at least they addressed it. And just double-checking this. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, not going that place yet. I guess we'll just check the town again, this part of the map, and then we'll be good for today. Probably don't really need to check the town, but it's right here, so I will. Actually, hold on, that is a waterfall. Waterfalls always have stuff. Except for when they don't, like earlier. Really? I can't go under the bridge? Okay. If you say so. I can jump off of this, though, right? Yeah. So now how do I get out if I can't go... That is really stupid. I understand, like, Zelda Classics type, type limitations, why that would be the case, but I figured this game would have over and under bridges. And, surprisingly, the waterfall still does not have anything. Huh. Would not expect that. Wait, I've been in here? Oh, yeah, I remember this now. Uh... This, yeah, this is the top of the waterfall. Is there a secret... Secret! Wow. Is there, like, a secret entrance into the castle from this spot? Because that would be kind of cool. Uh, alright. Money! And once more for good measure. Money! God damn it. Okay streak has been broken. How do we get that chest? Don't know yet. Any other water I need to explore besides the swamp? And this place. And probably the ranch. So, is there any other water I want to explore that isn't something that I don't want to at the moment, is the better way to ask that. God damn it. I 
guessing probably not, because I don't think there's any here. No, there's not. Don't know how that happened. Let's check the town real quick. I think I've already done everything I can here. At least I can... This freaking dog, it never gets out of the way of that staircase. It is the worst. Yeah, looks like not really too much to do in the town either. Okay. So, I know that I certainly didn't hit everything possible, but... Okay, now that's all. I'm like, I'm thinking, like, this was a problem when I was small, but, yeah, it doesn't really matter, because it doesn't lead to anything. Uh... Yeah, I was starting to say, I'm sure there's other water spots somewhere on the map that I haven't looked at. Like, there's some here at the ranch right now. This is Bomb Wall? right here. Let's just freaking do it. What did we say this was? I have gone in there, right? I'm sorry. I never remember what I've checked. Yeah, I've definitely been here. Okay. Uh, let's see. Water that I don't really care about. Actually, have I been over here? Yes, I think. Yeah, I've definitely been here. So you know what? I'm in the area. Let's check out the witch. See what the red potion does. It doesn't say, so what does this one do? So I'm going to guess it's basically like the Zelda one, where you have the potion that heals you, and then the one that you can drink twice, or just this one heals double. Usually blue does health and magic, but there doesn't seem to be magic in this game, so I guess there would be no reason for that. Still kind of weird that they'd change up the formula like that, but oh well. Anyway, this video has gone on entirely too long. I have not checked out Vale Falls. You know what, let's just freak... How many times have I said I'm going to end this video and I haven't? I don't know, but it's been a lot. Let's just do it, because if I don't, I'll not remember to do it next time. I can at least remember to do the swamp, because it's its whole own area. But this is, like, mostly inaccessible, so it shouldn't take long to get through, right? Assuming I can even get there, because I don't remember how. I think through this. Okay. And waterfall still does not do anything. There's an area that I can get to. This doesn't have anything. And that's it. So let's see where this leads to. Knew it. These pea hats are slightly obnoxious, but I'm going to try my best to ignore them. Bunch of money that I don't need. I should probably just leave it on the ground, honestly, unless it respawns. And dig wall. Which, if this is progress, then we're not gonna do it. It is not. Come on, final Goron thing. No. Oh well. Money? money. So that was two correct guesses out of the whole video. Alright. Uh, was that everything in this location? There's a door over there. I don't think I can get to it, because it's on top of the waterfall. We're gonna consider this good for now. So, we're gonna actually end this time. I swear to god. Next time, we're gonna check out the swamp. Clear it out, and then we're going to start the dungeon. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm sorry that this one dragged on for ten days and was kind of boring, but you got to have these occasionally.